Hello there, this is Mark, and this is going to be a quick review of the proper way to update apps on your iPad set. We do not want to update apps directly on each individual iPad because that multiplies the download 24 times or 30 depending on how many iPads you have in your class. So here's the right way to do it. We're going to download it one time to iTunes and then use the USB connectors in our cart to actually distribute that. That means we only download it once and then we let it do its thing while syncing unattended. Okay, so you're going to open up iTunes, go to the sidebar here. If by chance you do not have this list which on the left, which is called the sidebar, meaning it looks like this and you're suddenly missing that list, you simply go to the iTunes menu, the view menu, show sidebar. Okay, now we're looking at the library section. This shows only those things that are installed on this particular machine. Not things all in your purchased section with your account, but things that are installed on this system. We're going to click on the apps section. And then we're going to go, it has its uh, updates have its own tab now. So we're going to go over to the updates tab. And if you don't see any here, there'll be a button down here that says check for updates. Click that, it will check and then it will show you. And as you can see, I have a ton of updates available. I have 57 of them. Okay, so we would definitely not want these to be individually downloaded. So here's what you do. You simply click down here where it says update all apps. See the button? Now I'm not gonna do all apps. I'm just gonna grab a few here just so you can see one little next step that is important, uh, we understand. So I'm gonna click update. Okay, so now let's pretend that you click update all. This little button in the upper right shows you progress. So if you had 57 apps to update, you would see a huge list here. And you would need to wait until that list completes before you sync your iPads. I've seen teachers, they'll click update all apps, then they go right ahead and sync, and then they wonder why those apps didn't update. Well, it's because they didn't finish downloading. So make sure all of these in the list have finished downloading which could take quite a bit of time. And once that is done, you simply go to your iPads in your list and you sync them. Now I only have one here listed because I'm actually doing this on my laptop, but you would see your full class list of iPads. And again, I'm waiting for this to finish. Now that it's finished, I can simply click on my iPad and then click the sync button right down here. Or as I like to do it, I right click on each iPad and then just click sync in the list that pops up. Remember, you need to do that for each and every iPad in your list. So click on each one and either hit sync, the sync button, or right click on each one and choose sync from the menu, okay? You do not have to wait between clicking on those iPads. Go through your whole list. If you've got 57 apps to download to each and every one of those, that's going to take a long time. The good news is it will do this unattended. So make sure you click them all and tell them all to sync after it's done downloading them, of course. And then you'll be set to go.